Has the curtain fallen too early on the 2023 F1 season? We're fresh off the shocking cancellation of the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix due to devastating floods. Now, there's a question hanging in the air. Will the iconic Monaco GP suffer the same fate? Despite a potential downpour on the horizon, reports suggest it's all systems go for Monaco. But are we really out of the woods? Or can more surprises lie ahead in this roller coaster F1 season? Stick around as we delve into the details. The 2023 F1 season has had more twists and turns than the Circuit de Monaco itself. We've already seen two Grand Prix cancellations this year, leaving fans and drivers alike hungry for action on the asphalt. Our first detour came with the Chinese Grand Prix, cancelled due to ongoing concerns about COVID-19. The pandemic, which has disrupted life and sports events worldwide, unfortunately continues to leave its mark on F1, proving that not even the fastest cars can outpace a virus. However, if we thought that COVID-19 was the only adversary we'd face this year, we were in for a rude awakening. Just as we were revving up for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, Mother Nature decided to throw a wrench into the works. Northern Italy found itself in the grip of an unrelenting downpour, resulting in severe flooding. The historic Imola circuit, usually buzzing with the roar of engines and the cheers of fans, was left eerily silent and submerged underwater. With rescue operations in full swing, the decision to cancel was a heartbreaking yet responsible one. The site of Imola, devastated by floods, was nothing short of surreal. Officials described the situation as catastrophic. The mayor of nearby town Farley said his city was on its knees. Castel Bolognese, to the northwest of Imola, saw single-floor homes engulfed, and its mayor called the situation unrecognizable. But through the chaos, one thing shone bright, the spirit of solidarity within the F1 community. Our drivers, usually competitors on track, joined hands off it. F1 champions like Lewis Hamilton, George Russell and Charles Leclerc have all shown support, echoing the sentiment that cancelling the Emilia Romagna GP was the only ethical decision to make. Alpha Tauri's rising star, Yuki Tsunoda, even took it a step further, jumping into the rescue effort. On a larger scale, the F1 authorities and Scuderia Ferrari have pledged $1 million each to aid the flood-ravaged region. The Grand Prix may have been cancelled, but the essence of sportsmanship, of standing by each other in times of crisis, was clearly on full display. As we edge closer to the glitz and glamour of the Monaco Grand Prix, a sigh of relief is making its way through the F1 community. Despite the wave of cancellations and uncertainties, the latest reports affirm a green flag for Monaco. The magic of racing through the narrow, winding streets of the Principality is, as it seems, still on the cards. However, this doesn't imply smooth sailing just yet. The weather forecasts have suggested a looming storm. If you're an F1 aficionado, you're well aware of what a heavy downpour means for the Monaco circuit. Rain at the Circuit de Monaco isn't just rain, it's a game changer. The narrow street-based track, replete with sharp turns, has little room for error under perfect conditions, let alone when it's slick with rain. The notorious track becomes incredibly challenging when wet. Drivers are forced to rely not just on their skill, but also on their wit and instinct, turning every lap into an adrenaline-filled test of metal. A wet Monaco GP isn't just a race, it's a spectacle, a testament to the mastery of those behind the wheel. Regardless of the potential hurdles, the teams are not sitting idle, the race preparations are well and truly underway. While the rumblings of storms echo in the distance, the trackside is buzzing with the symphony of setup. Personnel are already on the ground, unpacking, assembling, ensuring that every detail aligns to perfection. Motorhomes and equipment are being swiftly but meticulously put into place. While the Grand Prix may have its natural challenges, from a preparation standpoint, it's all systems go. Teams are putting their best foot forward to ensure that regardless of the conditions, they're ready to tackle anything and everything that the unpredictable Monaco weather has to offer. In this unpredictable season, the Monaco Grand Prix is shaping up to be a testament to the resilience of F1. Through rain, shine or flood, the show must go on. And as we inch closer to the grand spectacle that is the Monaco GP, we can only wait in anticipation for the roaring engines, the screeching tyres and the sheer thrill of F1 racing undeterred and undiminished. Now, let's get down to the nuts and bolts, the hard logistics of moving from Emilia-Romagna to Monaco. 
It's akin to navigating a ship through a stormy sea, only here the ship is hundreds of tons of F1 equipment and the sea is a flooded Italian region. Imola, located in the heart of Emilia-Romagna, is currently surrounded by impassable roads. Floods have washed over much of the terrain, with fallen trees and landslides obstructing the remainder. Rescue and emergency services are stretched thin, focusing rightly on saving lives and providing essential relief. In such circumstances, attempting to move the colossal amount of gear from cars to motorhomes is a Herculean task. With the overland route looking more like a waterway, what about flying? Normally a large chunk of the F1 crew would catch flights from Bologna, just 28 miles northwest of Imola. But with the region being ravaged by floods, air travel seems to be off the table for the moment. The catastrophic situation at Bologna makes it highly unlikely for any flights to take off in the coming days. So here's the predicament. The F1 teams are literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. They need to pack up and transport their gear 310 miles through the flood-hit region, a seemingly impossible task. The countdown to Monaco is on, and every minute is crucial. Even if they manage to navigate their way out of Emilia-Romagna, it's not smooth sailing from there. The local weather conditions will play a pivotal role in this high-stakes race against time. As we've seen, nature has the power to disrupt the best laid plans, making the journey to Monaco an unpredictable one. It's a complex puzzle, one that the F1 teams must solve quickly to ensure that the show goes on in Monaco. But as they find their way out of this logistical quagmire, they must tread carefully. But they're not just navigating a transport challenge, but a region in crisis. When it comes to F1, we often find ourselves fixated on the dramatic duels on the track, yet the real drama sometimes unfolds miles away from the circuit. This year's Monaco Grand Prix is not just about the unforgiving street circuit, it's also about a simmering political situation in France that could disrupt the entire event. France, the neighbour to the glitz and glamour of Monaco, is currently in the throes of political unrest. The bone of contention? A rise in the minimum pension age from 62 to 64, a move that has sparked widespread discontent among the French populace. They've not shied away from expressing their dissatisfaction, and their protest strategy involves targeting high-profile events. The Monaco GP sits squarely in their crosshairs. You may wonder how a protest in France can impact the Monaco GP. After all, Monaco is its own independent country. However, the independence is geographical, not functional. Monaco is heavily reliant on France for utilities, including power. If the protests escalate and lead to power cuts, the Grand Prix could be plunged into darkness, quite literally. But rest assured, F1 is not a sport that is caught off guard. The organisers are well aware of the potential threats and have contingency plans in place. Emergency generators are standard fixtures at all Formula 1 races, designed to kick in if power issues arise. They'll be fully fueled and ready to go, ensuring the race can continue even in the event of a power cut. However, the situation becomes trickier when we consider logistics. Many of the drivers, team members and fans will be staying in Nice, just along the coast and over the border in France. If the protests lead to disruptions in transport services, reaching the Principality of Monaco could prove challenging. In the face of these challenges, the race organisers, teams and fans alike will need to stay flexible and alert. As always, safety will take priority over all else, and decisions will be made with the best interest of all involved in mind. So as we look forward, one question that's been spinning in the minds of many fans is the possibility of rescheduling the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. After all, it's been a fan favourite for a few years now. Unfortunately, given the congested calendar of Formula 1, the chances of this happening are quite slim. We're talking about an event that would require complete reshuffling of dates, not to mention the immense logistical undertaking it would involve. As per reports from Craig Slater of Sky Sports, it seems the chances of seeing Imola back in the 2023 season are almost impossible. So as we conclude today's video, we want to hear from you. What are your predictions for the Monaco Grand Prix? Will the French protests and the potential weather-related challenges disrupt the race, or will F1 power through and deliver yet another spectacle for us to enjoy? Your thoughts, predictions and insights add value to the discussion, so don't hesitate to drop a comment below. And before we sign off, our hearts go out to the people of Emilia-Romagna. The ongoing rescue and relief operations are a stark reminder of the real-world struggles that happen beyond the world of racing. We hope for the safety, resilience and a quick recovery for all those affected by the severe weather conditions in the region. 
In the end, F1 is just a sport, and it's the human spirit that matters most. So stay safe, stay strong, and we'll see you at the next race.